Hey there, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's crucial for parents and educators, sparking curiosity in kids for lifelong learning and success. When he was three or four years old, my son Alec told us he wanted to be an engineer scientist. I'm not exactly sure if that's a thing, but what that told me is that we need to really expose him to science and let him explore that passion. So how do we ignite that spark of curiosity in kids? Well, we do it with hands-on experiences, asking thought-provoking questions, and exposing them to a wide range of topics. Today, we're gonna do just that with a couple of experiments from the Ultimate Science Kit. Today we're going to do the ultimate fireworks. I've already filled this up with water and this one with oil. We're using two of the colors. Which ones do you want? You pick one? Yellow. Blue. You pick one. Blue. Okay, great. So two drops of each color. Okay, well, we got three, but it is what it is. I guess you can do three also. Okay, good. All right, now we have to stir this. That's probably what the oil should do to it when you okay. mix it. All right, now let's see what happens when you put it in the water. Oh, the oil is at the top. I guess the fire, well, the fireworks are just supposed to be the, the thing going down. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's not really supposed to look like that. Let's see if red makes a difference. Oh, it's starting to go. Look at it. You see how it's starting to... I'm going to put... Oh, I was going to put red, but it's hard to tell because you can't really see what's happening as well with the um, note stop. I want to mix it. Okay. Yeah. Well, when you mix it, it's not really doing the fireworks anymore. What happens instead? You just turn it to green. Everything turned green. Which is kind of cool too, right? Because when you have it in the oil, the colors separate. Mm -hmm. But when you put it in the water, what happens? They mix. They mix. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. For our next experiment, we will be doing colorful jewels. Add two drops of blue. Well, you can do that. I like skin on Okay. Okay. It's like it. And then, after one minute, you'll have two different colored jewels. One. Wait. One. Two. Definitely instant snow powder. Good enough. Do we like this better? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, let it. Just. What? It's what? It's snow powder. What? This feels like slime. <laughs> <laughs> like what? It's like very jelly-ish. It's not exactly what I was thinking of when I okay. heard that we were making jewels. When I got jewels, I got like, like crystals, crystals yeah, that too. I can put into slime. Well, there you go. Okay, I don't know if you noticed, but the fireworks were not fireworking. That could be because the yellow in the oil was too close in color to the yellow food coloring that we ended up using. When Alec decided to stir everything together, my initial instinct, as you probably noticed, was to tell him, no, stop, don't do that, because that's not the way the experiment was intended. I am a rules follower, but Alec isn't like that. He's curious. He likes to push boundaries and try new things like scientists. I don't want to temper his curiosity with my instinct to color in between the lines. So I have to catch myself and let him do what he does. That's hard for me, really hard. So when I find myself starting to do that, I stop, I breathe, and then I try to do the opposite of what I was originally intending. 
Other ways that the Mayo Clinic recommends that you can spark curiosity in your kids are to show them the world, to focus on providing experiences rather than gifts, and to spend time together as a family. I hope you were able to take away some great tips on how you can spark curiosity in your kids. Thank you so much for joining and see you next time.